Hey everyone, it's Joey from Build Awesome Websites, and in today's video we're going to talk about WordPress and CSS. So I'm going to talk about uh, several different ways in which you can utilize CSS with WordPress. So the first way I'm going to mention has to do with when you're building your own custom theme. If you want to add additional style sheets, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Uh, the second way is going to be if you want to just make some quick edits to any theme, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, inside of the editor um, add, adding your own custom CSS to change some of the styling. And then finally we're going to take a look at um, an existing theme and how we can make a few minor changes using that second technique. So even if you're not a WordPress developer per se, but you just want to make a few small tweaks to your WordPress theme, I'll show you how to do that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is show you how you can add your own custom uh, CSS file. So here inside of my project folder, um, I'm using a MAMP by the way. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below of a video I did like three or four years ago actually, how to install MAMP and WordPress on your computer. But MAMP is a way that you can host uh, WordPress sites locally on your computer so that you can do development work. Um, so I'm inside of my uh, htdocs MAMP folder and I have a WordPress installation locally on my computer. So as you can see in the URL up here, I'm actually logged into the admin of this WordPress site. And you can see the URL says localhost, so that means I'm local on my own computer. So inside of your WP Content Themes folder, you have all your themes. I happen to install a theme called Blink Slate, which in my opinion is the perfect uh, theme in order to start your own custom uh, WordPress theme development. It comes with just enough of the files that you need and otherwise there's no styling associated with it. So you're free to add all your own CSS and uh, add all your own custom markup as you see fit. Um, but let's say you wanted to add an additional CSS file. By default, WordPress expects there to be a style.css folder within the root directory of the theme. And if we take a look inside of any functions.php file, which is necessary in a WordPress theme, you'll see that they actually register. Uh, so there's a bunch of different custom functionality in this functions.php file. But the main thing that we're looking for is right here where it says uh, load scripts. And in particular, you want to look for a function called WP in Q style. This is just WordPress's way of making sure that uh, regardless of whether or not you switch environments and you switch hosting providers or whatever, the CSS will always link up properly. So they provide a custom, uh, they provide a function to be able to uh, add the style tags to the header without you having to worry about changing the file paths or anything like that when you change hosting environments. So here they're in queuing, they're just calling it by a name. So they're just giving it the name blank slate style. And then the second parameter is the location of the file. And so the get style sheet URI is always going to grab the style.css file from within the root directory of a theme. But let's say you wanted to add your own uh, CSS file in addition. So in this case, you're going to use the same WP in Q style uh, function and you can give it whatever name you want and then you have to say the location of the file. So in this particular case, I'm going to go inside of the style sheet directory URI and then I just need to point to uh, the custom CSS file. So once I've done that, I have my custom CSS file already made here and I can add any styles I want to this and they're going to show up in my theme. So here is my uh, blank slate theme. If I inspect the source of this theme, here's my developer tools, I can go up to the header and if I look at uh, my link tags for my style sheets, you can see here's the default blank slate style CSS. So notice how the ID of this is blank slate dash style dash CSS. So inside of my functions.php, you can see we have blank slate dash style as the name. So then it just automatically adds a dash CSS 
to the end of it to create the ID for this link tag so that you know which CSS file it is. So we created one called custom, so that's listed right below it here. And you can see it's automatically linking up to themes, blank slate, and then custom CSS. So now in this custom CSS file, if I said something like body, if I just gave the body a background of red and I refreshed it, you can see that it's linked up properly and that any changes I make here should be reflected as long as um, you know, we follow the different CSS rules, which are, you know, specificity and different things like that. The second way that you can uh, create custom CSS for a theme is to go to Appearance, Customize, and then on the left-hand side here, you will see an additional CSS tab. So this will be available for any WordPress theme. There might be some custom ones out there that disable this, but for the most part, you should be able to have this tab here. Uh, for your WordPress theme. So if I click on that, it actually gives me a space down here for me to add my own custom CSS. So if I do the same thing and I'll grab this body background of green, you can see it actually automatically takes place because as soon as I write it in, uh, there's some JavaScript going on that will automatically apply the style temporarily before it saves. Uh, when I take a look inside of the head of the document, what you'll see all the way towards the bottom before the closing head tag, there's an inline style. So again, anything that I add inside of this custom CSS file will override anything that's in one of these files so long as the specificity is, as, is equal to or greater than the specificity of the selectors in each one of these files. Uh, so let's say you downloaded a theme and you just want to make some quick changes. So we're going to utilize this um, appearance customize uh, portion and we're going to make some changes. But instead of using a blank slate theme, which takes a lot of development, so that's if you wanted to develop a theme from scratch, let's say you wanted to get one that's mostly styled out, but you just want to change the colors. So I'm going to go back into appearance themes and I'm going to select the brand new uh, 2020 theme here and go ahead and activate it and I'm going to refresh so now we got a whole new theme going on here let's say we just didn't like the color of uh, the head the headers on the page so you can see all these headers are black let's say we wanted to make this like a dark red or something like that I'm gonna right click and click on inspect and when I do that I have the element highlighted and over here you can see what color is being applied. So if I just went ahead and, and inside of the uh, inspector tools, went ahead and changed this color, you could see how changing this color here affects uh, things on the page. So you can see it actually only applied to uh, this particular title and we wanted it to apply to everything. So if I click down here and inspected uh, this title down here, this H2, you can see that there's this header footer group uh, color, so I would have to change this too. And now it looks like I'm actually changing all the colors. So as I move it around, you can see what uh, colors are being applied to here. So then in order to make sure that these color or these changes get applied to your actual file, what you'd wanna do is go ahead and copy this entire selector so I'll just hit Control C, go over to Appearance, Customize, and inside of the additional CSS, I would paste this in, and as you can see, all these uh, titles and stuff have changed. So that's a quick and dirty way to uh, use the inspector tools to find out what the selectors are and what colors or different things are being applied, and then go inside of uh, additional CSS and just copy over those values as you change them inside of the inspector tools and they should take place inside the theme. Not really an ideal way to do things um, and definitely something you'd only want to make a few small tweaks to your theme for. All right, so that about does it for this uh, quick tutorial. Hope you learned something about CSS uh, as it relates to WordPress. If you have any more questions or comments, uh, leave them in, in the comments below. And if you like this kind of video, I'm going to be doing more uh, WordPress theme development related 
uh, videos in the future, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell when I have new videos coming out. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.